out of some oxtail right here. I'm going to just oil these oxtails down. All right, I think I got about four to five pounds of oxtails right here. Clap your mama in. We're going to put a good amount of that because this is we're going to black pepper these things in. All right, then we open this one. It act like it don't even end with the garlic powder. We got to use a lot of garlic powder on these. Word is, um, in comparison to the Creole seasonings and all that, we're going to hit this with some paprika next for color. Lay down so that they can. And of course, we're going to turn them over. So we just want to get them in here. This is going to cut down the cooking process. You can bake them or put them on the stove top without browning them, but it takes a little bit longer to cook when you do it that way. I just find them more tender when I brown them first. So I like to brown my short ribs and my oxtails. So we're going to let those brown here for about five to seven minutes. Oh, yeah, they're browning pretty good. And it's making. All right, so when, once those oxtails start browning, you want to turn these oxtails over. You want them brown on all sides. Yeah, like I said, we're going to cut down that cooking time. And I mean, this really right here just locks in the flavor. All right, those are good. All right, so we got our oxtails in here. We're going to let them rest. We're going to let these oxtails rest. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the fire down. And we're going to start building the sauce. This portion right here, just to pick these goodies up off the bottom, get some more oil too down in there. All right, squad, we got these onions and bell peppers sauteing in here in this oil. And as you can see, it then picked up all those. All right, squad, first thing we're going to do, we're going to add us some beef broth to this. I'm going to go ahead and add the whole thing. And if you don't have any beef broth, you can always use beef bouillon and water. It's going to give you the same thing. Because if I have to add a little bit of water, I'm going to just add some beef bouillon. Let me show you what that is. That's this right here. Just use that. that. And I'm going to splash mine with a little bit of beef broth. I mean beef uh, bouillon. Because it's going to bathe in. All right. We're going to add us some onion powder. And you know what? These All right, squad. We're going to add these oxtails back to this pot. We're going to let the temperature rise. And then we're going to throw them in the oven. Like I said, three to four, three hours probably. Maybe two and a half. Because I got them nice and browned and when you got them browned sometimes it knocks off a bunch of the cooking time sometimes it does but sometimes it depends on the the cut of the oxtails if they're if it's a good tender cut or if it's a tougher piece you're gonna have to cook it longer and slower so we're gonna see so what i'm gonna do is i'm adding these back to this pot okay and then we got a little bit of juice that dripped off from the and the oxtail was in there, so we want to add all that. We ain't going to miss no flavor. We ain't leaving no flavor behind. We're going to get all that down in there. Because I like to see if the oxtails are going to make their own gravy. Because sometimes, a lot of times, oxtails will make their own gravy without any flour. And that's the good thing about it. I've, had, I've done that with oxtails and neck bones. All right, so we're going to add this right to the top. Break these onions up. Get them down in there. All right, so we got these oxtails ready to go. Let me got the parsley on top. Y'all see that? So we're going to go ahead and mix all this. Make sure everything is well situated before we get ready to throw it in the oven. Make sure everybody got enough room. Oh, it smells good, too, already. All right, so this is going in the oven. I'm going to set it for two, and a, two hours because I'm going to check it in two hours. But it's not going to come out. All right, let's look at these oxtails. Look at that gravy. Look how thick that dark oxtail gravy is. Look at, y'all see, I got the baby fork. So we can, ooh, how smooth that meat came off. Let's taste it. 